Hi students, today we are working on lesson 24, session 2. Turn your math book to page 507 and we'll begin working on this. James is baking cookies. One batch of cookies uses two-fourths of a teaspoon of vanilla. James wants to make three batches of cookies. How much vanilla does James need? Okay, so we're going to do this doing a model, um, but at this point, you might be comfortable with just going ahead and doing the multiplication, and that's okay, too. So, since this is fourths, I'm going to divide these into fourths. Each batch uses two-fourths, and I'm making three batches, so that's why I drew three bar models. So I have two-fourths plus two-fourths plus two-fourths which equals two, four, six fourths. Another way that you could do this is three times two fourths. Three times two is six, and you put your four on the bottom. Okay, go ahead and turn to page 508. So right here they used a picture of actual spoons, but this is... Um, Pretty much the same thing as what we did, just that they're using pictures. Down here, they used bar models, just like how we used bar models. Okay, over here on 509, we're actually going to skip it because it's just repeating all the things that we just talked about. So go ahead and go to page 510. Micah jogs 8 tenths of a mile. Sarah jogs the same distance three days in a row. How far does Sarah jog altogether? So we'll have 3 times 8 tenths. You can draw a model if you would like, but I'm just going to um, use the regular multiplication. So 3 times 8 is 24 tenths. On Monday, Sylvia spends 5 twelfths of a day driving to her cousin's house. On Friday, she spends the same amount of time driving home. What fraction of the day does Sylvia spend driving to her cousin's house and back? Okay, so we have 5 twelfths plus 5 twelfths, or 5 twelfths times 2 would also be an option, which is 10 twelfths, or you can do 2 times 5 twelfths, which also equals 10 twelfths. Number 11, Isabella fills her fish tank using a water jug. The water jug holds four-fifths of a gallon of water. Isabella uses nine full jugs to fill her fish tank. How many gallons of water does the fish tank hold? Okay, so nine times four-fifths. Nine times four is 36 and we put the five down here. Now the thing is, is all of our answers have a whole number. This is an improper fraction and we need a mixed number. So I'm gonna take 36 and I'm gonna divide it by five. I know that five times seven is 35 and I have one left. So that one becomes my fraction. So my answer is seven and one fifths. If you feel like you have got the hang of working these fractions, go ahead and complete pages 511 and 512 on your own, and then come back and check your answers. And hopefully you have the hang of it by now. If you don't, you really need to um, schedule Tiger Tutoring. All right, number one. Benson spends five-sixths of an hour reading each day for three days. How long does Benson spend reading this week? 3 times 5, 6. So 3 times 5 is 15, 6. Well, what is 15 divided by 6? So I can do 15 divided by 6. 6 times 2 is 12, and that leaves me 3 left over. So that means it's going to be 2 and 3 sixths. Okay. So Benson spends two and three-sixths hours reading. Show how to use repeated addition to check your answer in problem one. Five-sixths plus five-sixths plus five-sixths 
equals 15 sixths. Sabrina rides her bike three-fourths of a mile. Katrin rides her bike the same distance on each of four days. How far does Katrin ride her bike altogether? So it would be four times three-fourths, which is four times three, twelve-fourths, or you can divide twelve by four and get exactly three miles. So it's twelve-fourths of a mile or three miles. Page 512. George coaches soccer for one twelfth of the day on Saturday. That day he also coaches tennis and swimming, each for the same amount of time as soccer. What fraction of the day does George coach on Saturday? Well, he does soccer, swimming, and tennis. So that's three times one twelfth, so three twelfths of the day. Greta plants flower seeds in 12 pots. She uses two-sixths of the bag of flower seeds in each pot. How many bags of flower seeds does Greta use? So we have 12 times two-sixths. 12 times two is 24 over six. So then let's divide. 24 divided by six. Well, I know that six times four is 24 with nothing remaining, so she uses four bags. Number six. Leslie practices the flute for two-sixths of an hour three times this week. She practices the piano for two-thirds of an hour two times this week. Which expression can be used to show how much time Leslie practices both the flute and piano this week? So we have three times two-sixths plus two times two-thirds. Yep, that one works. Could we do two-six plus two-six plus two-six? Yes, plus two-third plus two-third. Yep. Two times two-six? No, that doesn't match. Could we do five times two-six plus two-thirds? No. And then this one's kind of tricky, but it's right. Three times two over six plus two times two over three. Yes, we will not be using that one though. Which does Leslie practice for a longer amount of time? The flute or the piano? Show your work. Okay, so let's do three times two six, which is six six. And then we can do two thirds times, oh, two times two thirds, which equals two times two is Four thirds. Well, six sixths is one whole, so that means that she practices the piano longer. That's it for this lesson. If you're still having a hard time, I highly recommend going ahead and completing pages 513, 514, 515, and 516 to help you, and I will put the answer keys for those on Google Classroom.